Hello, loves. How are you? I hope that this video finds you well and that you can feel the sun in it. Just sitting out here, soaking in the rays with this beautiful guy. Oh, I hope you can see him. He's so cute. But anyway, I will, uh, Crystal Ariana here. Just want to shoot a quick video. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole energy update. I'll let you guys read that below. Um, but I know a few of you dears reached out to me the other day. Thank you so much on uh, over uh, Sunday and Monday. Um, I am doing well. Thank you for reaching out and letting you know me know <laughs> that you didn't find the energy update. I did need a day or two um, to just go through my own body and cellular renewal. There's so much upgrading happening on a body level, it feels. And uh, yeah, I know I haven't done a video in a little bit. Woo -hoo -hoo. And um, I just felt it was really relevant to step on out and just shine because that's kind of what the message is, is to just connect to who you are at your core and the most silent part of you. And I needed some space, I guess. Um, I'm, I'm going through a lot of re reassessment and I kind of want to uh, speak to that. Um, of just some old protections, some old armors, and ways of being that I feel like over the last few days I am coming into a deep release on it and seeing how to embrace all of me without doubting, without making it wrong, without, you know, without disassociating or numbing or resisting or whatever you want to call it but allowing myself to just be fully as I am and connect with all parts of myself uh, no longer using others you know to escape myself or to block my own inner alignment and I feel like that's so deep for everyone right now and I and I want to speak to it because I feel like we are we are meant to truly stand in the light and just shine. Most simply, to come into our being, our silence, our spaciousness. And I speak to the I am in the article below, which I'm not gonna, like I said, I won't read through it, I'll let you read through it. But I, I do want to speak to what I've been feeling a lot lately, which is, you know, I have so much happening in life right now that is so precious and so beautiful. And there's so much light. There's celebrations that are happening. There's even rewards from hard work happening and I am having a difficult time receiving it. I'm having a difficult time receiving love because of some of these old protection mechanisms and barriers and things that I used to value that I no longer value. And so to allow myself to step into the purity of love, into the purity of love's flow, um, and this state of I am that I'm speaking to is, is really allowing myself to be tender with my anger and tender with, you know, the really ugly aspects that I am seeing and not having to chase the dark around with a flashlight, but just stand in the light and allow all corners to be seen from a still place. And I, I just, you know, I, w I wanted to speak to this opening that I'm kind of feeling of letting myself out of my own limitations, of my own world, of my own uh, caged perceptions, if you will, of how I am either seeing others or how I am seeing myself. And um, an example would be like, 
over the last, you know, several years, I have gone through some hiccups in wanting to bring what I truly love and what I want to do in the world and have that fully connect as one. And I, you know, purged a uh, investor partner who was stealing from me and had gone through um, my own levels where I was having to sac I was sacrificing myself in order to feel like I could bring my gift to the world and I realized that I could not deceive myself <laughs> if I didn't want others to deceive me and so I've, I've been on this interesting journey on a business level as well as with a couple soulmate relationships over the last 10 years that has put me into the awarenesses now of where I am still not allowing in love, where I am still um, not allowing myself to be penetrated by truth. And it's really rearranging my entire relationship with my own inner masculine and my own accountability within myself. And, um, and what do I mean by that? Like, you know, you are not responsible for the versions that others make up in their mind of you and vice versa, you know, or another idea that's been swirling around a lot is that we don't owe anyone another version of ourselves that allows them to bypass or escape themselves. No one owes us another version of themselves so that we can escape and bypass ourselves. And so it's really like owning our own projections. Like, yes, if you are in trouble and you're, you know, your body's telling you, it's, you know, fight or flight that you are not in a good place, listen to it, of course. But not just because you don't, you know, want to hear it or because you don't like it. I feel like we need to be embracing all aspects of ourselves without trying to, to you know, doubt our nature, doubt our love, doubt who we are. You know, we can still love and embrace all connections, even in the process of learning how to receive more love, right? Even in the process of healing, in other words. So. Anyway, I just, I, I feel like there's so many good things coming into my life and I'm having old stuff, old framework, old beliefs, old structures, old lenses pop in and I'm having to notice what is really disrupting my I am flow. And I talk about more about I am in this article below, um, but I'll, I'll let you guys read it and I, and I don't want to make the video too long again, but I, I, again, I feel like I just had to make this video i hope that you are shining i feel like so many of you are stepping into that space your source your fire and you're learning unlearning and at the same time many of you are just dropping into source and just being and it's so beautiful whatever wherever you're at and embracing all parts of you multidimensionally because I feel like um, I have some parts coming up in me lately that feels very very young and it, 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 it is um, the parts of me before that I feel most wild in and most free in that I can just fully shine and be myself in and it's connecting to that place that is previous to the betrayal and how we're blocking ourselves from receiving love. And so for those that are in the situation to where you have new things, new people, beautiful situations, beautiful people, beautiful energies coming into your life and you don't know how to quite receive it, because this is, this is also something that I'm experiencing not only personally, but I feel collectively and not all things I feel collectively, I feel personally and vice versa, but this is one thing that, you know, in particular, for example, I have a very beautiful person coming into my life and sending and being and existing and allowing so much love and it's bringing up so much 
insecurities for me around letting in that love and letting in that light. And so I just wanted to let you know that if you're feeling this, you are not alone. You are completely on path. You are okay. You are love. No one else is responsible for you. You are I am. It's not a story. It's an existence, a being. And I feel that the more that we're allowing ourselves to just simply go there, just simply be bold, shine, provide ourselves what we need, nourish, you know, feed ourselves what we need, ask for what we need. You know, we can even break some of our old spells, some of our old conditionings when we just call it out, ask for what we need, be more direct, or even just allow yourself to receive it. Sometimes we set the tables in ways that is, is stacking things against ourselves, right? So I feel like just stand in the light and just receive. That's the message. Okay, guys, I love you so much and I hope that you are doing well. Let me know and uh, yeah, let me know if you like this video and I will do more videos, but I, I knew that I just had to hop on today and, um, and connect because I feel like our presence and our being means more than anything that we can do. It is truly our, our, our state of being that we derive everything else from. And it, just connecting more in our being and knowing ourselves is so key. So that's it. I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.